Norwegian oil company Lundin causes quite a stir with a kinetic installation. Breaking the surface consists of 529 plexiglass tubes, which are continuously moved in such a way that they simulate ocean waves in the eye of the observer. We made a prototype in the beginning, and after we have get some answer for, for, for the installation, for the mechanical part, we uh, also start with the architecture for how to uh, serve and drive uh, all the installation with the, the 529 motors. The compact electronics for the control of the plexiglass tubes is installed directly in the support structure. Uh, there's been uh, quite a lot of different kinds of challenges. Uh, I come from the design background, so for me it's been important to, to keep the aesthetics uh, and the experience intact, even though there's uh, structural and, and engineering issues. And because that's been a it's been a challenge, like with the space, we want to have an evenly spaced out grid and not too much spacing in between all, all of the pipes. So there's. Uh, there's uh, quite a clever solution to how all of the servos are placed like uh, at a diagonal in between all of the pipes uh, and the cabling and everything is done in a manner that's just perfectly fitted for this application to, to keep, all, uh, keep it as small and tight as, as possible. Fascinated visitors move through the virtual ocean waves. It's most fascinating and interesting. I've never seen anything like it. Very exciting, exciting to, to watch and see. Yeah. yeah, I think it's really interesting and uh, I like stuff, like moving stuff. It's interesting to look at and pleasant, simply fascinating. Yeah, einfach faszinierend. Motion sensors in the floor signal that someone has entered the installation. A total of 529 AM8121 Beckoff servo motors and 529 EL7201 servo terminals were installed in order to move the plexiglass tubes. I think the main challenge there is, the, is getting all the data out to the servos fast enough and that's where uh, the backup system is, is really great. And it's also been really great for me as a software developer actually getting into a new system I haven't worked with before. But it was really easy to get into because it's integrated into Visual Studio and I work in C++ myself and we use the ADS protocol to, to communicate between our custom application and the PLC system from uh, Backoff. When a person enters the installation, the virtual ocean opens up and the tubes are driven to a safe position. We've implemented a safety by safety layer a philosophy. If the pipes should come in contact with you, which it still hasn't done, unless we want it to, <laughs> the pipes will uh, come softly in contact with you and then retract. So this is basically because of the TwinCat 3 technology and that has basically enabled us, amongst other things, to make the system safe. The installation is given a further connection to reality with authentic drilling samples from important oil fields. The visitors can discover these oil samples during their interaction with the virtual ocean. Both Scandinavian Design Group and Intech Engineering were convinced by the advantages of the Beckhoff control solution. As we speak now, we have uh, made the decision that we want to standardize all our projects with Beckhoff automation equipment. So because we are so satisfied with the choice of uh, back-up automation systems that we want going to continue with it in the future.